on to Park and Rec. Draft minutes. Any questions? Go for it. No questions. No questions. No questions. Anybody? I have a comment. Please. Uh, apparently, Commissioner Toon suggested that a policy be developed for Memorial. I think that's great. Just that's because eventually, eventually, eventually oh, we may want to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, they, that came from their reading of the last minutes here. Um, he suggested in the commission, and I certainly uh, agreed with him that it was something that the commission could take on with the initial drafting. He's actually already got copies of a couple other local areas kind of memorial, memorial policy. Um, I've taken a brief look at it. It'll be added to the PNR agenda for the next time. They will go through, make some refinements, and bring it up to a point where uh, they would be comfortable as a commission recommending it to the board. Okay. Just out of curiosity, why does a park and rec commission make a, take a stab at doing something that probably should happen at the board level? Because all of these things actually occur within, usually, the parks. Oh. Or, or the or the, recre or the recreation facilities. Yeah. <laughs> like the Howie Council back on the Bill Gordon, mm -hmm. the bag shop, you know, that's considered park and alley stone. Okay. Okay. Anybody? <coughs> From the public? So mm -hmm. now, okay, yeah, this is, I mean, this is a general thing. I, you know, um, I'm sorry I didn't go to the last, uh, this, this meeting, but um, I, I'm going to say it again, we, that Panhandle area is really beat down. It's com compressed soil, and it needs actually some restoration, but then it needs to be left alone to, to restore itself. Um, in addition to that, I, well, I guess I, I'd like to see some um, park benches in there. We have a lot of elderly people that use that trail uh, with, with uh, nurses and all sorts of things, or, uh, and um, they, they should be accommodated. Um, I think it's, it, it would be a, a benefit to the community. 